Hello, my name is Marina Kay. Are you body? I'm Ian Weaver. I'm Simone Mills. And I'm Michael Benefield. And we work for the Next Gen Future Business Leaders of Tomorrow. And we're the AAA Toy Company. And we'll be breaking down the accounting cycle. <laughs> Good afternoon, class. This is Michael Minfield again, and I'll be talking about the accounting cycle. The accounting cycle simply is the process of recording and processing all the accounting events for a company, and our company is the AAA Toy Company. So the first part of the accounting cycle is to analyze your transactions. Our transaction states, on October 1st, the owner of the AAA Toy Company, or AAA Toy Company, invested $70,000 in his company in exchange for common stock. Okay, the first thing that you have to do at the beginning is you have to underline all the important parts of the transaction. So the first important part is the date, which is October 1st. The second important part is how much money is being invested, which in this case is $70,000. And the third important part is what is the person getting in exchange for the money, which is the $70,000 in this case, and it is common stock. And next, my colleague Ian will come in and talk about the journal. Hello, everybody. I'm Ian Weaver, and for today, I'm going to teach you guys about the journalizing part of the accounting cycle. So, the journalizing part is basically keeping track of your transactions in a journal called the General Journal. All companies use the General Journal to track their transactions, and the specific way that you have to track these transactions. So, on October 1st, the owner of the AAA Toy Company invested seventy thousand in exchange for common stock. So when we see the word invested 70,000, that means cash improved. And cash is normally debited, so we will write this down as cash for 70,000. Now we see an exchange for common stock. That means common stock, it's improved and it's a equities. It's an equity, so it'd be normally be credited. So we we'll write down this common stock 70,000. Notice the indentation right here. This indentation is key for writing down in a general journal because that's how we differentiate debits and credits. Debits, credits. Normal, normal side debit is always right here. When you credit it, it gets indented. So now, my colleague, colleague uh, Simone will talk about the post letter. Okay, hi, I'm Simone Mills, and I'm going to talk about the third step in the accounting cycle, which is posting to the ledger. So another way of saying post to ledger is making T accounts. And it's basically a chart that looks like a T. And what this does is divide your debits and your credits. All it is is the side of the T account. So the left side is your debit side. And then your right side is your credit side. That's all debits and credits means. Don't think about your debit card or your credit card. It's completely different. So. If we use the transaction mentioned before, cash, which increased by 70000 you have to consider its normal balance. So what is the normal balance for cash? It's an asset, so its normal balance is a debit. So you would say cash debit 70000 Then for common stock, you have to make another T account. Why? Because it's a separate account. So you make another one, debit credit common stock and common stock increased by 70,000 and it's also credited in the transaction so you put it as a credit on the T account yes. so next we have preparing the unadjusted trial balance which my colleague Marina Kay will come up and explain thank you Simone okay so basically when you're preparing your unadjusted trial balance you just take the accounts that you use for your post for your general ledger, and then you just make a chart. So basically, this is our chart that we're gonna use. This would be for your debits, and this is be for your credits. So right now we have cash, so I'll do cash. And usually you'll have a whole bunch of other accounts, but right now we're just gonna work with the cash and the common stock. So cash was debited for 70,000. And then your common stock, which is an equity, was credited for 70000 And then when you come to the end, this should all balance out. So this is 70000 in your balance, um, in your debit, sorry. And this is 70000 in your credits. Your debits and your credits should always equal out. Now we will have Michael Benefield doing your adjustment. I got bribes in the line. Credit card 
Hello, this is Michael Benefield again, and I'm doing part six, my bad, my bad, part five of the accounting cycle for the AAA, aka AAA toy company. Our adjusted transaction states on December 5th, the company notices that insurance policy displays 8,500 of coverage has expired. So basically what is that saying is, so basically that there was an insurance policy and uh, for a certain amount and a portion of that money has expired. So basically this is just an adjustment. Whenever adjustments are always made, when anything is adjusted within the company, when anything changes, when anything is not the way it was at the beginning. And whenever you do an adjustment, whenever you have adjusted transaction, you always do an adjusted journal like you did at the beginning with steps one and two. For the adjusted journal entries, insurance expense is debited for $8,500 and prepaid insurance is credited for $8,500. For $8, that is because insurance expense goes up because you have to buy the uh, insurance again and the prepaid insurance, it goes down because the uh, insurance expired. My colleague Ian Weaver will come in and talk about um, the adjusted trial balance. Hello, Ian Weaver again. So now we're going to sit here and talk about the prepared and adjusted trial balance. So in order to prepare the adjusted trial balance, you need to have the original adjustment transaction. As you've seen before, we had those adjustments. So now we post those to an adjusted trial balance. So you start off with the original balance that we had as in cash, and then the common stock. These are the adjusted entries in insurance. Excuse me for my hair writing. And the insurance expense, I'm getting a little lazy, I'm in debt. So you post that down as cash was getting debited as 70000 Common stock was getting credited as 70000 so now here's where the adjustment comes in place. So we had prepaid insurance, excuse me, we had prepaid insurance. So in, in, when we had prepaid insurance, that means we bought insurance and then insurance expense means, that means the amount of insurance that we use. So for prepaid insurance, we post that as a credit, 8,500. And then insurance expense, we post that on the adjustment side is 8,500. This shows that we used up the, the original insurance that we bought for over, over the time, and as time went on, we used up that insurance. So now we go to adjusted trial balance, and we move this cash over seventy thousand. We move this common stock over seventy thousand. We go to insurance expense. We move it to the adjusted, on the credit side, eight thousand. Oh, on the debit side, excuse me, on the debit side, eight thousand five hundred. Then we move this prepaid insurance to the credit side, and at eight thousand five hundred. Remember that your debits and your credits always supposed to equal out. So we add these together, we get 70, 70, 78,500 for the debits, and we get 78,500 for the credits. So they balance out, and that's how you do an adjusted trial balance. Now, my co colleague Simone will talk about the preparing financial statements. Okay, hi, it's Simone again. I'm talking about step seven in the accounting cycle preparing financial statements. So there are three financial statements. One being the income statement, second being the statement of retained earnings, and the third being the balance sheet. So for the income statement, you take all your revenue and you less it by all the expenses, which gives you the net income. Then for statement of retained earnings, you start with your beginning retained earnings, plus the net income that you found in the income statement, and then less it by the dividends, which gives you the ending retained earnings balance. And then the balance sheet, you ha also have to consider the accounting equation in a sense because the total assets has to equal total liabilities plus the equity. And the statement of retained earnings comes into play in the equity section, which is the equity section of the balance sheet. And next, my colleague, Marnie, is going to talk about the closing and preparing the post-closing trial balance. So the eighth step of the accounting cycle is to close. So when you close, you close all the temporary accounts and you leave your permanent accounts. So your temporary accounts are expenses, revenue, and your permanent account would be like retained earnings. So we use income summary to cancel out these accounts. So I'm gonna start with this. So we close our revenue. We close our revenue to our income summary. Because revenue is usually a credit, we're gonna debit it to zero out the balance. Then we close 
expenses to our income summary. And because obviously expenses are usually debited, we're gonna credit it. Because your retail earnings are usually a credit and it's a permanent account, you just leave it as a credit. So you close it to your income summary. I mean, you close your income summary to your retained earnings. Summary. Then you close your dividends to your retained earnings. And that's how you close your accounts. All right, this is your last step. So we're finally done. Boom. Okay, first you do your post-closing, I mean, sorry, you close out with your post-closing trial balance. I only put down a few accounts just so you can get the feel. But basically, you end up, everything that you did from your last step, you just end up with your retained earnings and you place it here. All your other things that didn't close out, so your cash, your prepaid rent, your common stock, and everything else that did not close out, you list it here, and then it should balance out at the end because all the other accounts like um, dividends and expense and revenue, they closed out and they equal zero. So now this should all balance out, but I didn't put down everything, but you get the gist. To our class for the AAA, aka AAA toy company. I hope you guys understood and love the county cycle just as much as we love it. And we are D O N E.